In this video, we will be discussing about the G proteins, their switching mechanism and its cycle into active and inactive forms. The G proteins are the guanosine nucleotide binding proteins and these proteins form the receptor on plasma membrane in the form of GPCRs, which can mediate the various signaling pathways. These are some signals that are mediated through GPCR. Another important property of G proteins is the GTPase activity. While we see these G proteins can hydrolyze the GTP into GDP, but this GTPase activity can be regulated by some factors in the process of GTPase switch. Here in this diagram, we can see the G protein which is having GDP bound, and this GDP bound G protein is the inactive protein. Now, here comes the GEF, which is the gonosine nucleotide exchange factor. This factor exchanges GDP for GTP. And now we have the G protein bound to GTP, which is the active form of G protein. But once the active G protein mediates the signal, it needs to get into its inactive state in order to shut down the signal. So here this work is done by GAP protein, GTPase activating protein, which removes the terminal phosphate from GTP and transforms it into GDP, thus rendering the G protein into its inactive form. So by the above functions, we can see that GEF is the activator protein, whereas GAP is the inactivator protein. Now let's see the switching mechanism of monomeric G proteins, like we have the RAS protein, which is the G protein. As we have seen, the GTP bound is the off state, whereas GTP bound is the on state. And in this diagram, we can see the monomeric G protein, which is having two domains, left and right domain, that form the switch one and switch two. And in the middle, we have the GDP binding pocket. Also within the switches, we have threonine and glycine residues in switch 1 and switch 2 respectively, denoted here by black squares. Now when there is high concentration of GTP or when there is GEF activity, that time the GEF kicks off the GDP and replaces it with GTP as shown in the animation. Here in this animation, GDP gets replaced by GTP. So here we see in this diagram, we have now GTP bound. And this GTP has terminal phosphate, that is the gamma phosphate. And this gamma phosphate brings about the conformational change within the G protein. The switch 1 and switch 2 are brought inwards as shown in the animation. Here in this structure, we can see the gamma phosphate, that is the terminal phosphate. And this terminal phosphate interacts with switch 1 and switch 2 through glycine and threonine residues as shown in the diagram. The switch 1 and switch 2 are brought closer which brings about the conformational change within the G protein thus rendering the G protein into its active state which then mediates the signal forward. So this is how the G protein works and shows GTPase activity. I hope you like the video. If you like it give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.